Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have anyone here yet. So I'm just going to hang out for a few minutes until some people get here. Yay. Um, I'm actually going to go. I don't know if I should go on Instagram and tell people I'm live. This is a total impromptu live. Yvonne, hey. I was, I was wondering if anyone was going to show up at this time with the time change. Oh, my gosh. Okay, people are starting to trickle in. Oh, hey, Chris. How you doing? Check it out. I oh. I got the shampoo. We're going to talk about um, the new Bath & Body Works shampoo that came out. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about these new mystery candles. And then I wanted to talk. Oh, hey, let's see. Who's here? Tracy, Kayla, Cammie's Corner, Rose. Uh, yay. Uh, oh, thank you, Casey. Um, Jennifer. Uh there's a lot of people here. Hey everyone. I, I need my, I need my bifocals here. Taylor. Oh, this is a good time. Is anyone else like totally messed up by the time change? I'm like, it's seven o'clock. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> it's funny. Cause I got up this morning and I looked at the clock and it was like 10 57. I'm like, did I sleep until 10 57? I'm like, Oh, the time change. Um, and it's snowing here like really bad. It is absolutely horrible. Uh, let's see. Hey, JC. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to read the comments as they're coming in. Oh no, Chris. Oh no. I'm sorry, Chris. I hope you're feeling better. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, let's see here. Uh, lady girl, uh, Josh. Yay. Lots of people rolling in. So this is awesome. Yes, we have snow here. So I went to the grocery store this morning. And because we live on the lake, the wind was so bad. I literally couldn't even open my car door to get out because the wind was just so bad. It was absolutely awful. Oh, hey, Danny. Oh, yeah, you're in Florida. <laughs> you're not getting snow. It's funny. Oh, hey, Buttercup. Um, it's actually supposed to be... I think like 62 by Wednesday, but Ohio weather is terrible in March. Like we could have like a foot of snow and then like in two days, it'll be gone. It'll be like 60. Oh, sunburn here. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, it's cold in New York. Yeah. New York, Pennsylvania, any Northeast I think is absolutely terrible. So I actually got to Bath and Body Works yesterday. Um, we're in the middle of this last $12.95 candle sale, I still need to burn cherry blossom pound cake. A lot of people said it's better burning than it is cold. So I don't know. We'll see. But um, I gotta burn this one. This is on my list to do. I got a couple of other ones that I want to try out. Um, I'm going to be talking about the new shampoo. I tried this out last night. Um, we're going to talk all about that. I'm just reading the comments. Uh, let's see. I'll hit that. Thank you. To, uh, um, I'm burning the Willy Wonka. Oh, Chris, you're burning the Yay, Goose Creek Willy Wonka. Those are good. I know. They're like fruity chocolate. There's like a combo of uh, both of them going on. Oh, hey, Megan. How you doing? Oh, Illinois. Bad weather. I know. It's just like bad weather all over the place. Um, I know. I'm like all like, I feel like my bones hurt today. I actually painted my bathroom yesterday. We got a new vanity and um, I needed to paint and everything. So I was painting yesterday. I probably still have paint in my hair that I can't get out. Uh, yeah, so I was definitely having a hard time. Um, oh, Desert Sky. I also got my hands on the... Oh, Costa Rica. Uh, oh, yes, the Costa Rica Pink Pineapple. We're going to talk about this one. Yay, we have 55 people here. So I'm um, just waiting for people to roll in. So, oh, hey, from Pennsylvania. Cody, yay, Pennsylvania. Oh, speaking of Pennsylvania. Oh, my gosh, Lenny and I... <laughs> Um, we just put up a new Earth Day t-shirt 
and tote over on Bombleo, our merch shop. Super cute. Uh, Lenny uh, was painting and I did some graphic design on it and it's super cute design. So it's actually a year round Earth Day. It kind of looks like the United States. It's very pretty. Uh, so head over to Bonleo um, if you're interested. Uh, tonight that code will work on the Eclipse Tees. I'll put the link below, www.bonleo.com. The code uh, SPRING25 uh, will work on um, some of those... Uh, Eclipse tees. Eclipse tees. I have my eclipse glasses, by the way. Uh, oh, hey, Tina. Hi from Nebraska. Yay. Um, oh, Chile and Cincinnati. I know. It's just awful. So I thought I would. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm wearing? Um, Yvonne, check it out. I'm wearing the Twilight palette tonight. I'm wearing the purples. I went with the purple. I'm so excited. Um, one of the problems, as many of you know, uh, when you're over 50, and you wear eye makeup, your eyes aren't quite as, um, uh, what's the word, uh, firm <laughs> as they used to be in your 20s. So us, us girls over uh, 50, sometimes you have to deal with the little drooping eyelids and stuff, but I'm actually liking this palette. It's wonderful. Um, I like the purple. I don't care how old you are. You can wear the... Um, the glitter makeup, and I think it looks fine. I wear this all the time. Uh, we have our eclipse glasses. Yay! <laughs> yes, total eclipse in Ohio. I know. Isn't that exciting? Oh, the silver glitter. I know. I'm going to swatch this for you guys really quick. We're going to talk about shampoo in a minute. Um, I'm having fun. So, uh, hey, Josh. Okay, so one of these is called Edward, uh, which kind of makes sense. Uh, but this Edward, look at this. I mean, this is like... Uh, a super, um, look at that. <laughs> Edward is definitely um, very, very glittery. I'm actually wearing um, Immortal, which is the purple glitter one on top, and it really worked. Um, it's funny because I was doing the, uh, let's see, uh, Forever Young, which is the almost black one under my eyes. That actually worked good. It made everything pop. So I was excited about that. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, hey, Ohio's Garden. Um, let's see. Uh, just looking at my comments here. So the reason we're here tonight is we're going to talk about shampoo and conditioner, the new one. So yesterday I walked into my Bath and Body Works and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I got excited because you guys know I've had mixed feelings about the shampoo in the past. I have at the beach in the conditioner, and I also have the lavender vanilla. At the beach, I didn't love, honestly, but I'm not a huge at the beach fan. I thought it was just like kind of intense. I didn't love, love it. Um, you can see I didn't use all that much. I don't even know if they have this one. Yes, we need a conditioner in the men's line. We do. Oh, hey from um, oh, Philadelphia, Jennifer. Hi. Lavender vanilla smelled a little bit too like aromatherapy. I didn't love it. Oddly enough, oh, uh, I, what is that? Um, I'd be Leslie. Hi, Leslie. I'm like looking <laughs> uh, from Mobile, Alabama. I bet it's warm down there. So when I saw the two new ones, I actually got kind of excited. There were a whole bunch of people in the store yesterday, and we were all talking about these, and everyone was smelling them. And it was kind of like a, a tropical hair party. It was exciting. So Waikiki Beach Coconut, they had in the shampoo and conditioner. And then they had the shampoo in um, the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. So I'm going to actually do a full review video probably tomorrow. I'm going to use it again tonight. I actually really liked it. So as many of you know, like I have really big hair. I mean, to the point of, um, if I don't tame my hair down, sometimes like, it's funny. It's a lot of times, like I'll turn around in my videos and, um, my hair is sticking out like 10 feet because I do, I just have really big fuzzy hair <laughs> and I need a lot of product to not only like tame it, but I don't want it to look like heavy. And, um, you know, like, so, you know how sometimes when you have hair, uh, products and it just makes it look matted. Sometimes you get that. Uh, 
So what I do is a lot of you know, I love my Elastine Propolythera. This is wonderful. However, it has a really strong floral scent. Um, I have that, I have that on my other channel. I talk about uh, Beauty Geek. I don't know if uh, I can put that down here. It's at Beauty Geek. Anyway, um, I talk about this shampoo a lot. So anyway, I use that probably four times a week, but I also like to use, oh, you've been using Tropidelic. That's interesting, Josh. I was curious about that one. Um, I like to mix in other shampoos during the week just for a change. And I feel like if I mix something else in, my hair looks a little bit different. Uh, you're so lucky, Betty. Uh, oh, menopausal thyroid. Yeah, I know. A lot of women over 50, I know. You just, your hair, believe it or not, like, I have a lot, of, I know I have a lot of women over 50. Your hair does change as you get older. It's, it's kind of interesting. Like one year it's, you know, straight another year it's curly sometimes after you have kids your hair gets curly it's 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 a it's a wild ride <laughs> of hair care so like four to five times a week i'll use my propali there oh hey Haley. and then i like to use the lush hair bars but now that i have this i'm like this is going to be my once a week kind of indulgence because for whatever reason i used this last night and my hair smelled so good. So, oh, hey, Candice. Um, hey, Beatrice. So look at the formula. It's, oh, look, my thumbs up. Um, it's a pearlized formula. And a little goes a long way. This smells so good and fresh. It's funny. I like Waikiki in the body care a little bit like, but this smells really good. It's the tropical white coconut, saltwater breeze and sun bleach woods. It just really works for me as a shampoo. So what I like about these is they're $16.95. So use your app reward to get this for free. Um, or, you know, like sometimes they do like a sale on shampoo, but you know, a free shampoo is a good thing. Um, so then the conditioner, the conditioner, do you guys remember in the 70s, cream rinse? Um, I feel like this is a little bit thicker than a cream rinse, but it kind of has the same, um, like, overall feel of a cream rinse. Candace, I've tried Thousand Wishes. It smelled great. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying it dries their hair out. So that's why I kind of want to give this, like, a week. Because I think what has to happen... Oh, hey, Edith. Um... I think what has to happen is you can't use this every day. That's my kind of conclusion is that it's got to be like part of your whole hair care routine. Um, and because I use Propolythera, which is a super moisturizing, like this stuff just absolutely does um, wonders to my hair. Uh, Cami, I think it is color safe because I color my hair. Yeah, it says uh, for all, safe for all hair types, uh, color treated hair. So it's saying it is. Now, um, uh, Mystic, so I don't think it's like overly moisturizing. So last night I did use it and I have not styled my hair at all today. And you can tell this is where I get my fuzziness in my hair. Like this is like right here. <laughs> so usually what I'll do is I'll use a flat iron or I'll use um, my my chi lava and it'll tame my hair. That actually works well. I also use like a um, hair oil serum. Um, that actually, I'm going to put this on right here. You'll see uh, that tames my hair down because let me tell you, it's funny. I have a funny story. Uh, one time we went with my mother-in-law down to, has anyone ever been to Mountaineer in West Virginia? Uh, we drove, it's a casino. We drove down there and um, the water was different than our water. It was a little bit, it was actually softer than our water. We have hard water up here and um, they didn't have any conditioner down there and I didn't bring anyone. I swear my hair was sticking up like this. It was like, it was so funny. Hey, Brandy. Uh, let's see. Um, I, I Let's see. Scented uh, genderless shampoo, too. Uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, here is... Oh, yeah. Happy daylight savings time, you guys. It's 7-12, and I'm like, I'm so messed up. 
Uh, oh, hey, Brittany, another live bunny. You know what show I thought of after we logged off the other day? Did you? Uh, oh, Wings. Of course I watched Wings. Oh, hey, Maria. Um, so my advice for this is it makes your hair smell amazing. Like I'm walking around the house and my husband was like, even like, it's like your hair smells really good. I'm like, I know. <laughs> My hair smells amazing. I was actually really excited about how good I smelled. Um, so then what I, I did, actually, I used Waikiki Beach shampoo. And then I used a little bit of the pink pineapple sunrise just on the top of my bangs. Because my bangs actually are oilier. I don't know if anyone has combination hair. So uh, I know a lot of people, hairdressers, are going to yell at me because I wash my hair every day. But I get like... Um, more oily up here and here. And then of course the ends are a little bit drier. So any of you that have combination hair know what I'm talking about. So pink pineapple sunrise is also amazing. I'm like, whoa, this smells so fresh. Like I cannot wait to use this in the summer. I think this is going to be like a game changer for me in the summer. I am so excited uh, for the pink pineapple sunrise. And it's beautiful. It looks so pretty in the shower. Um, Trapidelic is, oh, uh, that way too. It smells awesome. Um, I use both every day and put, oh, that's a good idea. Leave-in condition. I kind of thought that. Like if you're using a good like serum or leave-in conditioner, you should be okay. Um, I'm waiting for Bath & Body Works to have another room spray sale. Yes. Um, so what's interesting to me, if you're just joining me, um, they have a lot of the standard shampoo scents, like At the Beach, A Thousand Wishes. I think they have Into the Night. Those weren't thrilling me. I don't know why, but these are like, whoa, they're not online yet, but I think these are fun. Um, oh, hey, Rachel. Um, Latrice. Hi, Latrice. Uh, Melanie. Uh, Haley. Uh, all these. Yeah, I have oily hair. Like I said, I have really odd combination hair. Like, Literally, like if I don't wash my hair for a day, I cannot stand it because my bangs get kind of oily and heavy. So I literally have to wash my hair um, every day. And like I said, usually what I'll do when I go out is I'll put it up, you know, like this. I'm really big on my velvet scrunchies. And, um, you know, I'll do that. Then I have it down when I'm, you know, filming or if I'm, you know, going somewhere. But um, I'm actually letting my hair grow out a little bit more than I have in the past. It needs a little trim. Um, I'm scared to use the shampoo and conditioner because my scalp is very sensitive. That's actually interesting. Does anyone have any advice about that? I actually don't have a sensitive scalp. Um, my only advice would be to maybe try a little bit. Um, uh, yes. I, yeah. What You wash your hair every day, too. Uh Champagne toast. Yeah. Does champagne toast smell good? I'm, I'm thinking that's another one I might like, but it's funny. I really wasn't on board with the hair care until I tried this and I went, oh my gosh, this Waikiki is just wonderful. Um, oh, Jessica, my hair is about your length. and It's nice to have it grow out a bit so you can put, yes. So that's one thing I like. So I wish I had a picture of myself. Um, <laughs> right after I had my daughter, um, you know how like when you're a new mom and you're like, oh, I don't want to deal with my hair. So I, I cut my hair fairly short and I hated it. I looked like um, a baby chicken. My hair was like sticking out. It's funny because the only thing that will keep my hair a little bit straighter is if I, you know, I grow it out. Um, let's see. A thousand wishes is good. Uh, yeah, I don't like a thousand wishes, Chris. I don't know why. Um Champagne toast. Yeah. Champagne toast. I want to try. Uh, my husband used the thousand wishes. Oh, and his beard. Oh my gosh. That's a great idea. <laughs> oh, hey, Jennifer. Happy Sunday. I know my, my baby chicken look. <laughs> and you know what the hard part was? This person, I was so annoyed when they cut my hair. So it looked so good the first day. Because what she did was she actually cut it and then she cut it again while it was dry and it was after she had like straightened it. It looks so good. I went home, I washed it and it was like sticking out and all, it was horrible. <laughs> it took me like two years to grow my hair out. <laughs> uh, hey Sherry, watching from Tennessee. Hey Nashville. Uh, yes, humidity is definitely a problem with my hair too. I know, it just like fuzzes out. 
Um, I would love to do, oh, brightly blooming in the shampoo and conditioner. Somebody, I think someone told me, was it Chris? Did you tell me that? Someone said um, that we're supposed to get, I said that wrong, brightest bloom. I think we're supposed to get brightest bloom. I know someone left a comment in the shampoo and conditioner. That would be good. Um, do you know why they don't have wallflower plugs on sale much? Yeah, you know what? They do them like um, an Easter. So the plugs, usually around Christmas, they do like a $4.95 sale on the basics. You want to buy those during the 40% off sale on Easter Sunday. That's when you're going to get the wallflower plugs. Um, let's see. Remember from the 80s? <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I was having issues with dandruff or started to use the conditioner and somehow, oh, that's good news. Oh my gosh. Um, Bonnie, are you going to watch the Oscars tonight? I don't know. I don't know if I can stay up that late. <laughs> I want to get up early because of um, the time change. Cause I'm like, I got to get up early tomorrow. And I'm like, it's going to be like crazy. I want to do one more video tonight too. Uh, Bath and Body Works is killing me. I want them all. Yes. Did you look like Monica from Friends? I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was terrible. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jackie. Uh, so the shampoo and conditioner might cause breakage. Yeah. So I haven't used it long enough to know if it's going to dry my hair out. I plan on using it like once a week. Um, with my Propolythera, which is super moisturizing, almost to the point where, like I said, I need a break from it once in a while, because if you over-moisturize your hair, then it gets a little bit, like, heavy. Like I said, what I have is I have, like, sometimes, like, you know, the frizziness by nature, like, in the back, but if I take a flat iron and just, it'll, it'll unfrizz. Um, let's see. Are the plugs supposed to get hot? Should I worry? They shouldn't get too hot. No, they get a little bit like warm, but they shouldn't like get hot, hot to the touch. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know why all the stores do not have Daffodil Daydreams. I asked, actually asked my um, store yesterday and they don't think they're getting it in. Mother's Day is supposed to be coming soon. Um, anyone pick up number 33 and number 42 yet? I am so perplexed over this one. This is like a total Scooby-Doo mystery to me because I get the lemon, I get the vanilla, but I don't get, um, oh no, Brandy, no uh, three wick yet in the brightest blooms. I, it's supposed to be coming soon. I'm going to stop in this week. So this one I actually like. It's Propolythera. Um, yes, this is actually Avon. Um, I love it. I've been using it for like five years now. Love it. Um, let's see. Not a fan of the new candles. Yeah. I smelled number 42 in the store and I said it smelled like a burnt leather couch. Like I'm like, what? I, I wasn't liking it cold at all. It was not uh, something that like was doing it for me. So this one... I like, but I don't get um, espresso. Yes, I, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about, uh, the Bridgerton collab. So what is going on with this? I feel like this is just blowing up all over the place. So as many of you know on the app, um, I actually have not seen Bridgerton yet. It's, it's on my list to watch. I just haven't had time. But of course, we get this huge like app coming soon. Um, they're doing it in a really mysterious way, and they're not mentioning the word Bridgerton right now. I'm hearing they're playing the music in the stores. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, what's your body care scent of the day uh, for today? Oh, you know what I was wearing? Um, I was actually wearing, uh, let me grab it, let me grab it. I just had it. Um, I was actually wearing uh, Water Lily Springs today for some reason. I don't know why. It's funny. I like this one. Um, this was like my, I wanted something like light and airy. This was my, this is my scent for today. <laughs> um, I ordered it online to be here in a few days. Uh, I, it's funny. I actually did before I did my video, I watched the trailer for Bridgerton and I'm like, it looks really good. Um, I just like, I have a hard time. Oh, Hey Maria. Thank you. Um, I have such a hard time 
like sometimes getting into a new series because I'm just so busy and I'm running around. A lot of times, like I'll just watch like Seinfeld at night or, um, oh, hey, Candace. Oh, Lenny's doing great. I just talked to him about like an hour ago. <laughs> Um, we just finished designing a new Earth Day uh, tee for Bon Leo, and um, he's actually working on um, the series, so all good there. Uh, Candy, uh, oh, Cody, so Bridgerton is a Netflix original series that is on right now, and it kind of takes place in the um, late 1700s, early 1800s. It's kind of like a romance period piece. Um, a lot of tea involved. <laughs> if there is indeed a Bridgerton collection, I've seen the following five cents. Okay. Um, Wisteria Garden. Yes. Thank you, Wan Lee. Yes, I've heard this. Wisteria Garden, Queen Charlotte's Tea, Danbury Shortbread. I want those. And um, Diamond of the Season. Oh, Bridgerton study. So that, thank you. I'm so glad you put those up. That's actually interesting. I should do a son of the day. That would actually be really fun. <laughs> thank you. Silent anomaly. Yes, I should do a son of the day. Uh, what are the codes for the shirts online? Oh, Brandy. So if you get our Bon Leo um, Eclipse t-shirts, there's 18 of them that we did. Use code SPRING25. Or if you use March 15, you're going to get 15% off. I put another Queen of the Girl Geeks tote on too. Thank you. Um, I'll do this uh, here. Let me put this in the, the chat. Oh my gosh. Um, let me see if I can do this. Uh, where is my link? Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, let me grab this. I don't know. Am I glitching? It's funny. Every time I go online while I'm live I glitch but I don't know if it's actually doing it like right now. <laughs> isn't that a weird I sometimes I think like ghost in the machine is totally real oh my gosh it's just like what the heck is going on okay so let me copy this this is for the solar eclipse tees uh that Lenny and I did so I'll put that oops I put that in the chat Oh, why isn't this working? Why is it? I'm having such a problem with this. Um, where's the link? Let me go to the link here. Okay, I got it, you guys. Okay, this is why won't why won't it post? It might have posted. I think it's in there somewhere. Oh my gosh. Um, but if you use the March 15th, you get anything at uh Bon Leo for 15% off. Okay, I'm trying to keep up with comments here. Okay. Um, oh, hey. Oh, Facts of Life. Oh, my gosh. Favorite. Uh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Favorite show. Uh, do you decorate for Easter? Yes. I'm going to actually do a video on my Easter um, coffee bar. I bought some stuff today. I actually went to Mally's Chocolate in Cleveland. If you're in Cleveland, go to Mally's. And I bought a whole bunch of um, cool chocolate. Oh, I'm good. Thanks, Facts of Life. Um Let's see, what else? Oh, we were talking about these. So what I was saying was this one, I get the lemon, I get the vanilla, I don't get the espresso. To me, it smells a little bit like a chocolate brownie mixed in with the lemon. It's kind of weird. I don't get coffee like at all in this one. And maybe it's me, maybe a touch of coffee, but I'm not getting like a Paris cafe. So I don't know. I'm not like overly thrilled with number 33 and number 42, um, oh, yay. Thank you. No glitch here. Yay. <laughs> but um, they're not like like over the top exciting. I see so many more people have joined. Um, we were kind of talking about the new shampoo and conditioner tonight, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Um, a lot of people like this is their favorite like tropical scent and it smells really fresh in the shampoo. I got to get the conditioner. Definitely wanting to get that. Did anyone do any um, soap shopping? I, is it today still the soap sale or was it just yesterday? Uh, let me go in my wallet. Offers. Um, no, the soap sale was just yesterday. That was really interesting. Uh, yes, I'm going to do more Dirty Soul Soap Company. I actually am. You know what? I'm actually going to do, I got my little box here. I'm so excited. They are sending me um, some 
uh, shower gels and some lotions. But you know, my next video is going to be chocolate covered cherry. Uh, I got to find that one here. I might have stuck that one in the other room because I was so excited about it. Um, if you have not checked out Dirty Soul Soap Company, uh, these are so much fun. Like blue raspberry snow cone. Oh my gosh. This one smells so good. It smells just like a snow cone. Oh yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, American Bandstand. Yeah, that was good. Um, let's see. I did, but could not use my 20% off. Oh, on the Bath and Body Works. I know. One thing Bath and Body Works really needs to do is um, two codes. Two codes. We need two codes. Like if we have a free shipping code, let us use our 20% off. That drives me crazy when we can't use two codes. Um, so, yes, I'm going to be talking more about Dirty Soul Soap Company. Oh, there I think this is the chocolate. Yeah, chocolate dipped cherries is the same as chocolate covered cherry from Bath and Body Works. I am going to do a side by side on that. That is on my list to do um, for videos. We're going to do that. Uh, yes, two codes. Oh my gosh, they really need two codes. Um, let's see, I placed an order a couple of days ago. I ordered 16 sprays. Oh, Jennifer, I cannot wait for you to get these. These are so exciting. So, yeah. Dirty Soul Soap Company is like my new happy place. Um, let's see. What else can we talk about? Um, has anyone tried uh, the spring collection from Kringle? I just ordered the pot of gold for um, St. Patrick's Day. I'm so excited to get that one. That one is actually like, like it's supposed to be like a vanilla rum, all kinds of good stuff. So that's exciting. Uh, so I did that. Um, coming up, let's see, what else do I have coming up? Um, we're going to be moving into Mother's Day at Bath and Body Works. Uh, I just noticed this, this is, looks like it's falling. Um, has anyone tried um, the new Tropidelic perfume? Um, I got this. I had a coupon. Does anyone have a uh whistling through the time for bodies videos oh did you get a whistling oh no that's not good um for my streaming i don't oh that's not good you know what i wonder if it's my heater <laughs> once in a while i have steam heat i the heater's on the wall i wonder if it's the heater uh let's see has anyone gotten the perfume yet yeah i get it i was gonna do a full review on this um so it's gorgeous it really is I'm like, I don't know if I totally love, look at that. It's like all holographic. It's a nice collectible. Oh, Chris. Um, Chris was, go to Chris's Instagram. This guy shops because he put a picture up of the new brightest bloom in the perfume. And um, it's actually a little different looking. I want to get it. It's it's. I think it's what sixty nine. Yes, yeah, sixty nine ninety five. I nearly fell over. I'm like seventy bucks. So that was a little crazy. I know that was. Like, I know. What is this one? This one is fifty four ninety five, but we have a coupon. So um, let me take it out. It's kind of hard to get out of the package. I'll have to say. Um, there we go. This is what it looks like. In the perfume, it is pretty as a collectible, and it's the um, irresistible passion flower, ylang ylang, and misty rainforest. Um, and it's funny, tropidelic. Honestly, 50-50, I swear. If you were to go down like the list of people watching my channel, people either love it or they don't love it. And you know what I think? I think it's one of those that it either reacts really well with your skin type or it smells a little odd. I'm 50-50 on it. It's funny. Sometimes I'll spray it on and I think it smells good. And then other times I spray it on. I'm like, I don't know if I like it today. I'm going to try it in the spring though. It's smelling good to me right now for some reason. It is strong. I know. It's like, I, I feel like people could smell me coming like, like 20 feet away. But um, this is the perfume. And then I just also recently got um, the Calypso Clementine. So this one opens like this, which I thought this was really clever. It's like an orange. <laughs> yes, me, I Tracy, I agree. Maybe in warmer weather, I would be more apt 
it smells like something you'd want to wear when it's humid. You know what I mean? Like it's heaty. I mean, it's like heavy. <laughs> um, I love this little bottle from Calypso Clementine. Um, I actually think this one smells really good. Like the orange in the perfume is just like um, coming out really good. Do you think they will bring back Gingham Gorgeous in a three wick candle? I don't know. I feel I have a feel, you know, that's a really tough one if they're going to bring that one back uh, for Mother's Day. Oh, hey, Candy. Um, I know that if you go into uh, Tess, go over and follow Tess, uh, Life Inside the Page, uh, because she's got, like, all the latest stuff. Let me just see. Um, spring three, floor set phases. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Tess has got some good stuff. Google Life Inside the Page. You're going to find a lot of good stuff over there if you're not following her already. So March 18th, which is coming up like in, what's today? The I say the 10th or is today the, uh, I think it's the 10th. So like eight days. So like in a week. Uh, oh, family's good. Um, let's see. I don't know what my family's doing right now. They're all in the other room. Um, Mother's Day Brightest Bloom, so that's going to be coming as a floor set. Um, let's see here. Uh, I gotta look at the scents. Uh, oh, Ridge, Ridgeline, you know what? Let me see. You know, I gotta look at scents. She's got the floor sets on here. Uh, spring 2024, items still to come, updated. Oh, okay. See, Tess is, Tess is in the know here. Um, she's got, uh, moisturizing shampoo in Waikiki Beach Coconut, pi Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Oh, an ocean. That's interesting. Someone was just asking about men's perfume. It looks like, oh, you guys, uh, Gingham Gorgeous were supposed to be getting a shampoo and conditioner according to Tess. I didn't know that. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Angel. How you doing? Glad you could join us. That's really interesting. Gingham Gorgeous and Shampoo and Conditioner. That is definitely going to be a game changer. Um, a lot of people are going to want that. Let's see. Uh, sunscreen. Oh, we're getting SPF 50 in the sunscreen. That's good. Uh, Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Waikiki Beach and uh, Coconut and At the Beach. That's actually interesting. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um gifts let's see the gifts this is new okay body care this is the new body care that's coming and i've heard of most of these coming so brightest bloom which i knew about um gingham unstoppable which bath and body works is already teasing out the send notes on that don't look overly thrilling to me um men's gingham i did hear about that that's a repackage i think um, dressed in white, the wedding, someone posted the wedding stuff today on Instagram and the lid on the dressed in white wedding is the exact same lid as luminous. It's got like that, um, interesting lid on it. Uh, gingham unstoppable. It sounds like it's, um, unisex Haley, but it's supposed to be for women. I don't know yet what it's going to smell like. Uh, yeah, Cammy, can't wait to get dressed. In. Where's your McDonald's tea? I know, I already drank my McDonald's tea. It's gone. I know, I'm like, I, I should have brought something to drink in here. I'll probably choke. <laughs> I've been talking for a while. Uh, they need to bring back black currant vanilla. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, first Sight is the men's wedding body care collection. So there's Dressed in White and there's First Sight. So there's two. Ice Lemon Pound Cake, which I already talked about on my channel, is coming back. It's going to look like the packaging for um, the Strawberry Pound Cake and the um, the Cherry Heart one. Bourbon, Strawberry, and Vanilla. I want to do a video about that this week. I got to find mine. Bourbon, Strawberry, and Vanilla is a really good scent. That's coming back in that tufted kind of uh, beveled body care. Um, oh, Fresh and clean. That's interesting. Kind of smelled a little fruit in it. Is that the Gingham Unstoppable, Chris? I didn't see that. Uh, oh, Canes. Yeah, I drink unsweet tea. I love the McDonald's unsweet tea. 
Um, and then the clean routine body care, we're getting, I'm seeing these all over Instagram, by the way, lavender, apple, and musk. So I'm not exactly sure. Oh, thanks, Chris. So yeah, so it's a little fruity. That's interesting. And a little fresh, fresh, clean, maybe a little fruit. That's interesting. I'm hoping I like it. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Um, Oh, hey, Susan from Tennessee. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yay, D Dirty Soul Soap Company. We were just talking about you. <laughs> Got my stuff here. I said uh, later this week, I'm going to compare uh, chocolate-covered cherries with the chocolate-dipped cherries. I can't wait to do that. I've been enjoying that one this week. Um, right now, we're just going over what's coming out. So lavender, apple, and musk. I don't know what musk is going to be. I can guess what lavender and apple are going to be. Uh, Jason waiting for musk. I know. I'm really curious about that one too. I, I'm like, I have no idea what that's going to be. Um, uh, you should get your package to, oh, yay. Oh my gosh, Judy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Literally like that's like, <laughs> that made my day. <laughs> Um, yes, Pink Watermelon Blast, Jennifer. They have to bring Pink Watermelon Blast back. It's so funny because I feel like any day now, Tess is probably going to be starting to talk about, like, summer. We're going to start, you know, you know how everything's like a season ahead. Um, okay. Uh, Japanese Cherry Blossom, another redesign. Oh, my gosh. Dahlia, another redesign. They're really going crazy on these redesigns, I got to say. Okay, body care gift sets, candles, uh, Bridgerton candles. Okay, here's some core candles that we're going to get. Um, mahogany teakwood. These are like classics. Um, let's see. Uh, peach Bellini. I saw Peach Bellini in the store the other day. That wasn't too exciting. Sugar lemons. I think most of these are out. Uh, three wick candles dressed in white and first sight. So the wedding candles are coming. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, you know what, you guys, seriously, check out uh, the Dirty Soul Soap Company. I am not kidding. I am so hooked on these scents. Like, if you start looking at their website, I'm going to put the link below. Um, you will absolutely like be in heaven. It's like, oh my goodness, so much good stuff there. <laughs> like I'm going, oh, food, food. More, I'm starving, more food. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, let's see, what is this? Uh, more candles. Love you, mom. Oh, the, the Mother's Day candles, pink, lilac, and vanilla. I love that one. That one smells like... Easter to me. I'll have to say that one's a good one. Uh, Mother's Day. Oh, Chris has actually shown some of these. The candle collection for Mother's Day. Blue Sky Breeze. I don't like that one. We've had that one before. Oh, thumbs up. I gotta not do that. Um, Fresh Cut Lilacs. You guys know I love that one. Uh, Pink Peach Blossom. I think that's new. Um, have you been able to find the products to recreate? Oh, Tutti Dolce, Golden Honey, and Prelate. I know that would be a really good one. <laughs> oh, hey, Sarah. Just made my first purchase from the Dirty Soul Soap Company. Yay! So exciting. I can't wait to hear how everyone loves these. Uh, strawberry Pound Cake, of course, is coming for Mother's Day. Iced Lemon Pound Cake and Sparkling Watermelon. Um, these are hand soaps. Uh, spring three candles, um, Oceanside lavender. I keep doing this and my thumbs up keeps going up. <laughs> Blush, amber and peony, bronze sunset. None of these are like really exciting to me. Oh, we're supposed to get the happy birthday sprinkled birthday cake. That's actually exciting to me. Ice lemon pound cake. Oh, roasted sesame. Has anyone seen the roasted sesame candle? And Chris, did you see that in the test store? I don't know. Roasted sesame. That actually looks good. Um, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Wallflowers. Someone had sent me like some test wallflowers that were actually quite interesting and different. They were like coffee. I don't know. They were like all different. Um, yeah, the balloons. Okay, can I do the balloons? Okay, I don't know if I can do the balloons. Is it two thumbs up or is it the peace sign? I don't know. Okay, there's the confetti. <laughs> it's always 
which cracks me up. Okay. One thumbs up. Okay, that's the thumb. I can usually... Tr- there, I got the fireworks. I can't remember what the balloons are. <laughs> uh, roasted sesame. I, I know, I have to smell that. That actually looks really interesting. Uh, yes, I have over 100 people. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Uh, we're doing a live tonight on... Um, it's daylight savings time, so it's like 7.43 and it just got dark out. I dread getting up tomorrow. Anyone else dread tomorrow morning? It's going to be like, oh, yeah, we're getting up at 5.30. <laughs> like, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, hey, Jessica. Um, if you're just joining me, oh, my gosh, welcome to my live. Uh, we were actually chatting about the new Waikiki Beach and... Um, Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise in the shampoo. This is now out in shampoo and conditioner at my store. It's so exciting. I've been kind of working it. I'm going to work it in like once a week. I decided that's going to be like my routine, my my once a week routine because <laughs> it does smell really good. Oh, hey, MG. Oh, my gosh. I know. Mornings do stink right now. I swear. <laughs> Like I know. At like 6.37, I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not going to get up. Uh, hope they will spill the tea tomorrow. I know. I am real. This It's funny because this Bridgerton, I feel like is the most like mysterious launch. And being a marketer, I kind of get it because my thought is when you do a collab like this, like all your I's have to be dotted. Your T's have to be crossed. Like everything has to be in place. And I don't think they want a collab like this leaked out, which is hard on social media. Because like if one person gets a hold of it, it's leaked. I mean, companies can't keep stuff like under wraps like they used to be able to do. Um, there's no such thing as a true mystery anymore. But I feel like they've done a really good job of keeping um, this Bridgerton pretty under wraps until it actually launches. I'm really curious to see it. Um, it'll be interesting. Uh, oh, the Girl Scout cookies. Um, did anyone get the hard candy? Uh, it's actually in the other room. I've been trying it. That's actually kind of cool. Um, Bath and Body Works needs a Girl Scout cookie line. Seriously. So, Danny, what's interesting is we did have a chocolate mint i think it was what was it called it was called dark chocolate but what was that one called you guys is it the green bottle it did smell like thin mints though we have had a thin mint uh scent never came back i think that was during um it was like during land of sweets i think bonnie tess's on tess's list there actually says halloween halloween bag <laughs> i know you know it's really crazy i looked at the calendar and i'm like Summer semi-annual sale is going to be like in two months. I mean, we're going to have all the information in two months. And then Halloween is literally going to be launching in like June or July. It's so weird, like how everything is so ahead. And I know a lot of people hate it. And I know a lot of people love it. Oh, hey, Meadowlark, you made it. Yay. Welcome. Um, I think the balloons are the peace sign. Okay. Let me, is it just one peace sign? Yes. Thank you. I got the balloons. <laughs> it's funny um, because I use, um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm using FaceTime. And there's some other ones. There's a rain one too. Um, is it the OK symbol? I don't know. There's, there's, there's one where you can like trigger rain. And I forgot what it, oh, there's the fireworks. Something to trigger rain. I don't know. Uh, nighttime tea coming back. I think, yeah, Girl Scout cookie. Um, oh, hey, Mary. Uh, Radiant Sky. Yeah, we haven't seen Radiant Sky in like forever. That's one that like, is it two years ago we had Radiant Sky? I think so. Um, the Oh, Kaleidoscope. Yeah, that has not been back in forever. Um, oh, Hey, Chantel, how you doing? Oh, thumbs down. Is that the rain? Okay, let me try, let me try it again. Is it one or two? Oh, yes. I got the rain. <laughs> the rain. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> the mango. <laughs> oh, hey, Brandy. Also, if you do the Star Trek sign, it does something. Oh, my gosh. I can't do the Star Trek sign. I, I, I must not have any Vulcan in me. 
My husband can do it. I can't. I literally can't do the Vulcan handshake. I should be able to. Let's see if I just... I don't know what it's going to do. I'm cracking up. Is Bridgerton stuff, the candles... I, Sarah, I think Bridgerton is only candles from what I thought. I don't know. Does anyone know the answer to that? I know. The rain is hilarious. I know. I'm like... The rain is like... Let's see if I can do it again. Yes. The rain is like... I thought the rain was so funny. Uh, will there be any more uh, men's sense coming out? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. We have Canyon. We have Ridgeline. And then... Um, I've not heard anything else with it. Oh, the first sight, which is the wedding men's collection that's coming out. Oh, hey, Adrian, uh, which is better? Uh, the pink or the green hair care products. Okay. So they both smell really good. It just is like, if you like Waikiki beach, um, these smell like even fresher than the body care. I swear they smell so good. I think of the two of them. I like, um, pink pineapple sunrise a little better. Um, MJ, I know. No, where's the Easter globe? I'm like, I know. That is so weird. We did not get an Easter globe. That was absolutely strange. Um, the other thing I was kind of chatting about tonight uh, were these mystery candles. Um, I don't know. These are so weird. This one is um, espresso beans, warm vanilla, and lemon peel. I'm not getting a lot of espresso in here. It's just not coming through. The other one I said smelled like a, a burnt leather couch. <laughs> Number 42. I don't know, though. I got I to gotta see. <laughs> I passed on both the mystery candles. Yeah, I, you know, it's so odd that we're naming them. Because after, like, you know how you have to vote to name them? Does that mean they're going to come out again? And they're going to have a name? I thought that was really weird. I don't know if that's still on the app. Let me see. Now we have Bridgerton. Um... Tropidelic, Women's Month. Um, I don't see the vote. Oh, yeah. The voting thing. Yeah. I'm like, are they coming out again? That was so weird. I don't even... I don't... Yeah, Chris, I don't even like the names either. I thought the names were kind of dumb. Um, they were... Let's see. For number 33, Affogato Lemon Peel, which doesn't make any sense. Lemon Espresso Twist. I voted for that. Doesn't make sense. Morning Spring Coffee and springtime latte. They were just like, no. Um, and then the other one was vintage vinyl and sweet cream. I voted for that. Sweet vanilla vetiver, vintage memories, and vanilla musk and leather. And leather. I'm going to add mine to the list, and it's going to be burnt leather couch. <laughs> uh, why put numbers? I know. I thought that was kind of weird, too. It's I know. That wasn't... I want the unnamed versions <laughs> I'm not into the candle drop either. The problem with the candle drop is like, they're really like hyping those up. Um, I actually like, we were so excited, I think, for the pink bubble gum and the root beer. I liked the root beer. Believe it or not, I actually liked the quality of this one on cold, but the throw is absolutely horrible. Um... Buddy, you need to try the Lush Super Milk Hair Conditioner. Oh, you know what? I've used Lush Hair Conditioners before. Thank you, Halos. I'm going to add that. Thank you. I'm, I might try that. Uh, cookies with vanilla frosting. That smells amazing for leather couch. <laughs> I know. Just say it's a test candle. I know. Seriously. Like, yeah, it's a test candle. Uh, how many candles do you think you have? Oh, my gosh, Yvonne. Um, I used to go in the candle dungeon downstairs. Um, I probably have about 500 candles right now um, from all candle. And not just Bath and Body Works, just like everything. That's probably on the low side compared, you know, because because I review so much, I do end up having more than uh, I probably should have. Um, Sherry, I'm so ready for a travel size sale. Yes, wouldn't that be nice? We need a travel size sale. Um, seems travel size room spray. I know we very rarely get the travel size sales. It's like a Christmas. They do a big one. I'm hoping like around Easter, um, we get some sort of travel size sale. That would be good. I'm just moving in my chair here. <laughs> I painted my bathroom yesterday. I'm like, I'm a little stiff. <laughs> oh, I, this is something else I picked up. You guys, the brightest bloom in the single wick. 
the scent notes are different from the body care. Um, there's like cedar wood in this one. It's not bad. I mean, I, it's not like my favorite or anything, but I'll have to review it. It's not bad. Uh, travel size sale. Yes, definitely. Um, lip care, any of the smaller stuff. It's always nice to get like, I love the travel size sale because you can kind of like try a whole bunch of stuff for a low price. I heard a scented candle called Vanilla's coming out. Um, where did I put that? I do have, uh, oh, I'm back. I'm back, you guys. So I bought this one uh, not too long ago. Is this what you're talking about? Um, what color is your bathroom now? So it was um, just like gray. And I have a gray tile floor. And we actually, I didn't want to spend like a huge amount of money to upgrade it. So we just got a new vanity, which looks a lot better because our old vanity was really old. It had that, remember that black sink I had? Um, so I got a white sink and like a marble top. And then we just had a vanity and a new mirror put in. But the new color is called Morning Fog. Actually, my daughter picked it out. And it's a little bit like of a darker gray. It looks really nice, though. I'm actually exciting, excited about that. Um, this is just plain vanilla, you guys. And it's, I think it's just plain. Oh, it's rich vanilla, fresh clove, and soft sandalwood. It smells good, though. I got to say, um, these are, like, not being promoted too much. But I did see them in my store and online. Uh, I've been having good luck with the single wicks lately. Oh, did anyone see the single wicks over on Goose Creek? They have the most gorgeous single wicks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we all should meet in Ohio. I know, wouldn't that be fun? I would love to do a giant like Ohio meet and greet. That would be awesome. <laughs> I think Bath and Body Works should all invite us to like a big party. <laughs> um, this is the uh, full size Daffodil Daydreams that Chris sent me. Um, Ashley has faith. Her channel has, uh, oh, Viva Vanilla. Oh, okay. That's good. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, my store said they have not seen these like come off the truck yet. So I don't know. I do like this one though. It smells like an Easter basket to me. Like see my hair's, my hair's fuzzing up here. I'll have to say it's gotta be a little humid in here. My hair's getting fuzzy. Um, it smells like an Easter basket. I absolutely love it. It's just like, so like it is, it's East. It smells like Easter. I just bought Easter grass, by the way, <laughs> I'm like getting ready to put an Easter. Ba I don't do like a surprise Easter basket anymore. What I do is, um, I just get a big Easter basket and I put it like on my coffee bar and I fill it with candy and then I just eat all the candy. <laughs> so it's for me. Uh, oh, it's funny. Yes, I do have jelly beans on my desk. That's so funny. Uh, did your daughter use Bath and Body Works? Yes, she does. She actually loves Bath and Body Works. She loves the shower gel. She loves everything. The mist. Um, I got the Brocks. What are these? These are the uh, Easter Brunch. They're blueberry maple pancake, uh, chocolate glazed donut, caramel cold brew, cinnamon roll, um, mimosa, and berry smoothie. Has anyone seen these? <laughs> They're not bad. Although I gotta say, um, I like the uh, the jelly bellies the best. Those are like my favorite jelly beans. Oh my gosh, I love jelly beans. Uh, can you get room sprays for two dollars? No, I, 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 Chris, I've not seen the room sprays. Usually, what do they do now? I think they do like three ninety five or four ninety five. I haven't seen them for that low. Have you heard of Candles by Victoria? I've heard of that, actually. It's a small business located in Texas. I should take a look at that. Thank you, April. Um, that's really interesting. Oh, good night, Kim. From sunny, oh, and hot British Virgin Islands. That sounds so good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I would love to be in the Virgin Islands right now as opposed to Cleveland. Uh, that is freezing cold, windy, and snowy. <laughs> That would be awesome. Oh, uh, hi, Jennifer. Um, okay, any last questions? Bath and Body Works questions? Um, I think I'm gonna do I might do one more video tonight. I don't know. I was thinking about doing one more actual video, and then um I'm gonna try. I don't you guys hate it the night the night after daylight savings time because right now it's eight o'clock, but it's really seven. So then you all go to bed. Like we all go to bed at like the same time, but then it's really hard to get up in the morning. 
<laughs> Jason, yes, we need a suntan body care. I would love, um, what was the one? Oh my gosh, the oil that you used to have in the 80s. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to like Tropicana, Tropidelic. <laughs> what is that called? Oh, it just left me. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it was like a, a suntan oil. That smelled good to me. I take that. Um, I pick you up. We'll take a road trip. <laughs> Yay. Yes, pick pick Angel up. Drive up to Ohio. Uh, what are your top fragrances? I started a collection and would like to hear other people's. Oh, strawberry pound cake. I absolutely love. Um, I tend to go for the foodie scents. I like... Um, Actually, I like Dahlia lately. That's a good one. When I put, oh, Copper Tone. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I was losing my mind here. Um, when I put together like a, I should do a video on this. So if you're just getting started at Bath and Body Works, because there's like 500 cents out there, what I like to do is build your collection by taking like two foodie scents, two florals, too woodsy and too fresh and like try them out and then you can get an idea of what you like and too fruity like do you like apple do you like coffee yes I hate cucumber melon <laughs> absolutely hate cucumber melons I know we need a coconut scent by the way I don't know why they didn't bring coconut back this year but that's usually what I tell new people to Bath and Body Works because it's hard to tell what you're going to like until you smell it. It's funny because a lot of people think they like food, but then like they get berry waffle cone and they're like, I don't want to smell like food, you know? And all of a sudden they're like, you know what? I think I like fruity scents better or I like woodsy. Um, Bonfire Bash is like one of my favorite scents like of all time. I love sweet whiskey. My favorite Dirty Soul Company smell. I don't, I, I, there's no way I can do a favorite. They are so good. <laughs> that campfire coffee. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, the orange one. Oh my gosh. I never smell cucumber melon. Oh, cucumber melon is just nauseating to me. Uh, how would you feel if Bath and Body Works changed the body mist into the body? sprays they do in the men's you know what actually um I like the form I like the way the men's go on it's like that it's like a smooth mist I actually kind of like that I, I don't mind it um let's see I hope that yeah I'm I'm hoping Barry Waffle Cone comes back that's a favorite for a lot of people um silent um they're sending me some shower gels I think I'm eating them tomorrow. I am so excited. I can't like, oh my gosh, that is going to make my day. I'm so excited. Uh, yes, Bonfire Bash. Um, sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I like, I like the fall scents. Um, you guys all know they did the mini in Pumpkin Apple. Pumpkin Apple is like my fall desert island scent. I would love to have Pumpkin Apple back in um, like a full size also, hot cocoa and cream. Why don't we have hot cocoa and cream in the full size? They never do it now. Uh, I finally made my first uh, Dirty Soul Sub Company order. Yay! I'm so excited. Uh, yes. Oh, marshmallow fireside. Yes. In a body care. I don't understand for the life of me why. Oh, my husband's texting me. He's in the other room. <laughs> he just sent me something funny. On Instagram. That's funny. I'm like, why is my husband texting me from the other room? Um, pumpkin cupcake. Yes. Why didn't we get pumpkin cupcake? Oh my gosh. I know. Um, there's so many scents that I am so perplexed that Bath and Body Works has not brought back. Uh, I wish they would. Yeah. The um, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, which you can get at Dirty Soul Soap Company. The, they have the dupe, which is amazing. I love vanilla scents too, Cody. Yes. Um, I'm definitely in favor of pumpkin apple and a body care. Yes. Oh my gosh. I know. Um, I would love to see, again, I keep asking for it. The funny thing is, if you're in marketing, you know, everybody knows Bath and Body Works entire Halloween line is already done. Like, you know, we just don't know what it is, but it's done. Probably Christmas too. Everything's done like years in advance. Uh, butterfly flower. That's my mother's favorite. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes. 
Uh, oh, good night, Cammy. Um, they can easily make a body care. I know. I don't understand that at all. Uh, blueberry. Oh, yeah. Blueberry maple sugar. No. Blueberry maple. <laughs> Which one is it? The body care, you guys. Blueberry maple pancakes is the candle. Blueberry maple sugar, I think, is body care. That's a good one. I know. Uh, what did you get? Uh, when? Oh, what year did you get into Bath and Body Works? I've been going to Bath and Body Works since like the 90s. I have. Obviously, I wasn't a YouTuber, so it wasn't as fresh in my mind. But I've been shopping there since the 90s, definitely. Um, I, I remember the store. You know, it's funny. I really wish I had some stuff from a long time ago that uh, <laughs> is now sold out. It's funny. I should have brought one of those over. Remember the... Um, the roll-on uh, glitter sticks. Those were cool that we got for Land of Sweets. Uh, oh, hey, Crafting After Midnight. How are you? Blueberry maple pancakes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Uh, blueberry sugar pancakes. Thank you, Jennifer. I know. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why that one just left. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Can you show uh, Ella the pizza candle you mentioned? Oh, Yes. I got to bring the pizza candle out. That's the Rome. <laughs> it smells so bizarre. I actually like it. Um, it's funny because Goose Creek has got a everything bagel candle that smells like a garlic onion bagel. It's actually absolutely wonderful. It's, it's different. I have one pizza candle. <laughs> I should have bought more. We They had like them for 75% off once. And I was like, ah, do I need more pizza candles? It's like years ago. Uh, Coppertone. <laughs> yes. Does anyone remember? Oh my gosh. Talk about damaging for your hair. Does anybody remember sun in? Stuff so you sprayed it on your hair and then you go outside and sit in the sun and hope it didn't turn orange. Oh my gosh. Uh, I would have bought all of them. Yeah, Chris, I know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Why did I buy the pizza candles? Come on. Oh my goodness. So if you're just joining me, uh, welcome. We were talking about um, the new, check it out, the new um, tropical shampoo and conditioner. I think that's like actually really, yeah, the things we did back in the day. Seriously. I know. I remember like I had a 79 um Pontiac Grand Prix that was like falling apart. It was like 89. So my car was like 10 years old. And, you know, you'd go out and you'd wash the car and then you'd sit on a towel and put sun in your hair and fry in the sun. Back in, <laughs> back in the 80s. Uh, need to get your hubby to do another random candle box. Oh, yeah, he was good at that. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> I will tell him, I will tell him to do that. Yeah. It's like, just go downstairs and pick out a whole bunch of candles. Can't wait. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about Halloween this year. You know me, how I love Halloween. I am definitely excited about that. That's going to be good. Uh, sudden. Yes. I'm guilty of using that now. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you didn't like New Year's candle scents label. Uh, oh, cool. That's cool. Thank you, Sherry. Um, that's a good idea. I know. I got to do some more um, like tips videos as far as like, um, you know, you can reuse your jars. Uh, I like the crafting. You can put like glue gemstones on them. I did that a couple of times. I got to do some fun videos. I got I actually got an ice cream maker like last year. One of those. Um, I got to make ice cream this year on, on camera. It's funny. Lenny and I like had the intention of doing cooking videos this year and um, we still plan on doing some. We gotta we gotta plan it a little. We did the um, eggplant one and we did the pineapple one. I love I would love to do some cooking videos though. That sounds like fun. Yes, Halloween is starting soon. Yes, I just you know what it's funny. I was getting sick of my clear glasses and I threw these on. I like these glasses. Do you have any tips um, for what is that? I, there's a heart there. I can't see it. To uh, remain consistent in uploading videos on YouTube. Oh, yes, Cherry Cat. Um, so you know what? <clears throat> I've been doing this for so long. Um, I try to plan out in my head the videos I'm going to do the next day. And I find that 
as long as I like stay on track to do like, you know, three to four videos a day, I like to do like three to four, you know, five minute videos. Sometimes I go a little bit longer, but um, yeah, it consistency helps you keep like going with your videos. And once you get into that groove and you do it, it's easy to do. It just takes a while to like get going. I know, crazy to think semi-annual sale is going to be here before I know, before you know it. I know. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Uh, what to, oh, it's 8.07, but it's really 7.07. I'm all messed up with this time change. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Mind-boggling why Tutu Fruity is only online. I know. I don't get it. I agree. The more you do, the more you... Yes, Chris, exactly. So, if seriously, you guys, um, if anyone is interested in trying to do a YouTube channel, it's totally fun. It's easier than you think. I highly the two things I highly recommend, actually a couple things. Um, if you have a corner of the house to do your video, I like to do it with my bookcases behind me. Then you have everything set up. You don't have to do a setup each time. Um, get ring lights. So for example, I'm just gonna pull one of these off here and show you like a ring light. I hooked these on my computer because um, bad lighting is like the worst thing. It's hard to see the product. So good lighting um, will let the product be more visible. And then um, I always film, I have a Mac computer and I just film on my Mac and I find that actually works um, the best. Uh, but yes, crafting after a minute. Seriously, you should. I mean, I. it's funny because like I said, the first video I ever did like seven years ago, I'm surprised like, I, I even have a channel. I was so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know what I was doing. You learn as you go. And it's it's a lot of fun. It really is. Um, it's just something uh, that brings me joy every day. And um, I've, I've, I've learned from a lot of people, do what you love. And I love doing this. I've met so many wonderful people. And um, it's just it's just so much fun to do this. Uh, it becomes more fun if you just be, yes, exactly. I know. It's funny because a lot of people have said like, you know, um, are you like, this, this is me. Like you're getting me. Like if you live next door to me, this is who I, <laughs> this is me. <laughs> so that's the thing. You just totally got to be yourself. I probably start doing face-to-face -face videos in my craft room. Good for you, craft. I, I'm so excited. I think that's wonderful. Um, yeah, passion, time, and hard work. That's all it is. It's just like, and it's funny because sometimes like you wake up and you're like, oh, you know, I'm kind of tired today. I don't know what I want to talk about. And then believe it or not, yes, doing Harry Potter, Harry, Harry Potter, Harry Potter videos on my channel. It's your happy place. Yes. So honestly, like if you're having a rough day or you're tired, when you actually like start doing videos, like all of my stress goes away. It's my happy place. Oh my God, Chris. <laughs> Can you imagine my tractor in July? Yes. <laughs> I like to do funny stuff. Like, <laughs> I know. I don't know what the heck possessed me to get on my tractor in my witch's costume. That was fun. <laughs> uh, and then, um, you know, Lenny, my friend, if, if any of you have seen um, my friend Lenny, so um, one of my very, very dear friends of 30 years, who I never thought in a million years uh, would want to do a YouTube channel because he's a he's got a master's degree. He's, you know, uh, uh, here's his channel. If you want to subscribe to Lenny, it's Ecclesia Arts. Um, Lenny's just an amazing guy. I've known him for 30 years. He's been a friend of our family forever. And I ran a theater with him. This is the book that he wrote. And he recently produced a whole TV series. Um, it's a period piece. Speaking of Netflix, Lenny and I want to be on Netflix one day for In the Name of Jamie Wakefield. <laughs> so go ahead, subscribe to Lenny's channel. Um, if you start to get into it, it's kind of one of those series that like you're not sure what's going on at first, but then when you start to figure it out. It's set in 1940. And it's actually um, the correspondence between a 19 year old gender confused um, man in 1943, and a famous author um, named Henry Melvin. And it's it's a true story, which is even more amazing. So um, that's why I keep talking about uh, the name of Jamie Wakefield. <laughs> 
because it's an amazing, wonderful piece that I think really needs to get out. So, uh, sun in still exist. Are you kidding, Danny? <laughs> That's not what I know. But Letty and I like to do fun things too. So he obviously has um, his stuff going on, but like sometimes we go play football and cook. <laughs> which is also fun. Uh, I still see the Professor Snape card. I say, yes, I, I love you so much. <laughs> I, uh, my other my other passion is Harry Potter and Alan Rickman is like my total favorite human. I love Alan Rickman. That's staying there, Rachel. <laughs> uh, Lenny's designs are amazing. Yes, so not only is Lenny a theater artist, um, a puppetry master, he also um, is an artist, a potter, a quilter. The man does everything. Can he can cook? Um, uh, good night, Mystic. Yeah, I know. I, I think I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> the weather's getting to me. Oh my gosh. So anyway, thank you so much uh, for joining me. It always amazes me that like a hundred people show up to these lives. <laughs> Because I usually don't have an agenda. We just start chatting and it's so much fun. Ah, uh, yes, Dynasty Days. So anyway, um, I'll probably, I'm going to try and do it. Like, I like doing these on the weekends, like Friday night or Sunday night. And I usually pop on between like 6.30 and 7.30. So, um, oh, yes, I mean, love, thank you. The Bath and Body Work uh, community is amazing. Um so yeah, I'm going to try and do like a weekly live. I love getting on and chatting with you guys. It's just really fun to be able to do that. I should drag my husband on for a few minutes one of these days. <laughs> I'll see if he'll come on for a couple minutes on my live. <laughs> uh, thank you, Brandy. So um, I hope everyone has a good night. And um Oh my gosh, you guys, I'll, I might do one more video or I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing. Anyway, stay warm. I hope everyone gets up early tomorrow and um, <laughs> doesn't miss the alarm. Uh, I'll tell, yes, I'll tell my mom I said hi. Thanks, Chris. I'll see you guys later. Good night. The <clears throat>